Welcome everyone to another episode of Redline. Today we're going to be focusing on this called the Visual Information Center, or for, for short, the VIC. This basically is the operating systems for the car, including the radio, climate control, and even shows the compass. Well, it's basically like a modern car, like you have the touch screens. This is also a touch screen system. Say I want to go to the radio. I just hit the radio button, and if I want to have the radio on, I hit power. And now, using this, just the touch screen, I can change between the stations, tune the radio station, or seek. Uh, I can scan for a radio station, change the balance throughout the car, and even go into an equalizer. Pretty high tech for its day. And I can also change from AM and FM radio which is also nice. Next, we have the climate control. This basically is for your heat, cold, fans, and it includes everything on the steering wheel as well. You have your volume, seek, the fan, and the temperature on here as well. So, basically, you know, hand, hands-off controls, you know, you're driving, you want to change the station, you know, just hit that button. Easy as that. So, for the climate control here, you can change the fans, put it to auto mode, uh, which is convenient. And we also have a defrost and a rear defog on this car, which was pretty new for the 90s, I'd say. So, going on, go back to the status screen here. Go to info. So now, the info shows all of our options here. Shows your oil life. So, you can, um, I just had to put a battery in here, so it's going to be a little bit off because I have to reset it. But it's showing today's date, February 5th, 2015. For some reason, the odometer says 67,601 miles, but this car has way over <laughs> a couple thousand to that. Well, to 198,000. So we can hit the return button. You have the Oldsmobile Edge, which was basically Oldsmobile's uh, roadside assistance and basically their warranty for the vehicles. We can look at that there. And it also has a number, which will transfer for you to, I believe it's the GM hotline or something like that. So you can try calling that number, but it won't work. <laughs> so let's go back. Return. Then we have the engine data. So it shows our coolant temp, which is 35, which is how warm it is outside right now. Our battery voltage, which is 8.4, pretty low. We need to recharge the battery. Our oil pressure is zero because the car isn't running. Then you have the VIC options, which is the system tone, which is that beep right there. You can have it on or off. I like the 90 sound of it, so I'm going to leave it on. You can change the brightness but it requires you to be at night in order to change it. Um, another way to confuse this is by putting a hat over the sensor, which is up in the dashboard there. Uh, message demos, which you can go through this. So say I want, I want to see what the hot engine looks like. I can select that. So this is what it says. If your engine is overheating, it says de decrease engine speed. When I blew the top heater core hose and antifreeze was spilling out. This is the message I got when the engine temp went way over operating temperature. So those are always neat to have. Um, here, what do we got? Little brake fluid. Here's another one. Little brake fluid service. Not just a little arrow. Uh, trying to think. I haven't seen this one yet. So they have all their little types of um, little icons for each uh, system. Hopefully you'll never see that. <laughs> that means someone was trying to actually steal this car, uh, which you need a GM chip key. So it's really handy to have. And then we have system monitoring. Everything is okay on this car, even though it has a check engine light, uh, which is sort of odd. But that's only for an O2 sensor, so it won't pop up. Now, let's see here. We'll go back 
to status. Let's check out these. So we just went through info. Next is navigation. Now it's not like a GPS like you might think. It's actually just a compass. <laughs> that looks like some type of like 90s airplane type deal. Uh, I think I've seen this like in Flight Simulator or something like that if you ever played that uh, old computer game. Very cool. Uh, I like it a lot. I don't think I'll ever use it personally, but it's a cool feature to have. Um, they actually did include a GPS system in this car, which came along with the phone option, I believe, which actually had like, you had a big, huge spiral antenna. So that would also be placed underneath navigation. Next we have day and time. It's saying today is Sunday, February 2017 at... Not 2015. You said it earlier. Did I say 2015? Yeah. Oh, it's 2017. I did not mean to that. You can set events. Um, I have no life, so I have no events going on. So You have a life. <laughs> it's a joke. You have a life with me. Let's see here. Yeah, there it is. And then you also have a calendar. So, that's pretty neat. Uh, I guess if you had a very busy schedule, you know, you can set it in here. You can set times, which is, well, everything's already set for us, so we don't have to set it. Last is the trip computer, uh, which says our range is zero for everything, even though we have three quarters of a tank. Um... No average MPG, <laughs> zero fuel used, or, well, one, point one used. Uh, usually this would show what your actual trip is, but everything's been zeroed out since the battery's been removed. So we'll go back to status here. Thank you for watching and for taking a look at this uh, visual information center. And uh, I'll see you next time.